Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week's video is a slight change of plans. We're gonna work on a continuation of last week's video. All right, last week uh, we did a video on photo transfers. In reality, there was one other um, method that we wanted to give a try, but we looked all over the island and we couldn't find it. Uh, so we had to send it, um, order it online, and it finally came in and uh, so we are kind of excited about it and we decided, well, let's continue on what we did last week and uh, show you what this different process is. In reality, it's not really a photo transfer, um, but we can use it in the same manner that we did with the photo transfer. So we're going to show you how we do this and talk about it a little bit more. This week we're going to use water slide decal paper and we're going to print on the paper and go from there. In this particular case, as I mentioned, it's not really a photo transfer. We actually print on this paper. In essence, it's kind of a clear plastic uh, sheet um, that you print on. And once you're done with that, then you uh, take off the backing using water. Uh, and then you're going to have this clear plastic with the image on it. And you place it on uh, what's normally supposed to be done. What they recommend is ceramics and glass. But we figured, well, we, we tried some different surfaces and in, in, uh, for the Mod Podge and the Liquitex and the other photo transfers. We figured why not give this a try with that as well. So we're gonna put this on wood, metal, and glass as well and see how it comes out compared to the photo transfer method that we have been using up, up to this point. But before we get to that video, please hit that like button. It helps us grow in our channel and also leave a comment or if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. And there's one very important note that I forgot to include when we were videoing a lot of this, and that is this idea wasn't from our own doing. We saw a wonderful video from our friends over at Just My DIY. I'll give you a link to them where they actually did this water slide. We saw that and said, well, we're gonna have to try that with our photo transfer. Again, it's not exactly photo transfer, but we liked it so much and we figured we would give it a try. So thanks to uh, Just My DIY, check out their channel. These guys do some awesome things and we think you'll enjoy it as well. Now back to the program. We just printed this, but the colors are a little bit off, but that's okay. On our next step, we hope that the colors will come out brighter. The instructions included on the water slide notes tell you to add multiple layers of a clear acrylic spray. All right, now we're ready to, to give this a try. Uh, let me warn you, we have never tried this before. I haven't even done a practice run, so I have no idea how this is gonna work out, but that's kind of part of the fun of it. So the first thing we're going to be using is glass. And then we have a sheet of metal, just right here, and a piece of wood. We don't know how it's gonna work, but we will try. Yeah, <laughs> no one has seemed to have tried it on wood, but we figured, why not? Because that's just how we roll. All right, let's give this a try. The instructions state that it's supposed to soak for about the, um, one to two minutes. I've seen some people that say maybe 30 seconds. The idea is just to make it uh, moist enough where this thin film on this will peel off and slide straight onto the glass. So we just need to make sure that it's moist and they all seem to show that it rolls up. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay. Okay, so our pan probably isn't deep enough. <laughs> That's all right. Here, you hold the bottom quarters. Okay. Keep him wet. All right. All right, once this gets wet enough, the idea is that you should be able to slide the thin layer of 
let's call it plastic, onto this and then slide out the white backing on it and the, the layer, the thin layer, the clear layer should stay on top of that. First things first, for a first try, yes. it was a fail, but it didn't come out bad. All right now, this is gonna be kind of hard to see because oh. the idea on this one was, just like we did on the previous video, um, where we did uh, black and white is what we were recommended. Now, I printed this in black and white, but this doesn't look black and white to no. me, so I'm not sure whether my printer failed on this one, or not, but let's go ahead and put a little backing on this and see if we can pick that up or pick that up over here. It came out pretty good. All in all, yeah. it's kind of, oh man, you dummy, I keep touching this. So I need to make sure, maybe I need to soak this a little bit longer so that it peeled off a little bit better. I think it's stuck as we were peeling it off. So lesson learned there. We'll try and soak the second one a little bit longer. Um, I think, I don't think my printer worked right on that one there because mm -hmm. that does not look black and white. But it was kind of fun. You ready to try the next one? Yes. All right. It's definitely a unique look. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right. Here's what the metal looks like for now. Let's see if we can get another angle here. Mm -hmm. This came out. That's pretty cool on the metal. Cool. I like that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, wood. Wouldn't you like to try this? <laughs> I would not. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. <laughs> good one. <laughs> I didn't expect that. All right. More family photos. Ready? And here we go. Now, I'm going to have to do some research. I don't think I've seen anybody use water slide decals on wood. But that turned out pretty well. I like that. That's a, that's a neat look. The grain still comes through on the wood. It'll probably dry up mm -hmm. once the water dries up. You might not see it as much. But um, that's a pretty clear picture. So I guess we'll have to wait to see how it looks when it totally dries, when all this dries up. We'll take some pictures of it and we'll give you our final assessment. So we'll be right back. All right, we've had a little chance to let these things dry and uh, here are the final results. Uh, this is the glass. I should have had the white piece so that you could see the backing. Um, but anyhow, this one was kind of a mess. I think we peeled it off too soon and it all bunched up. And on top of that, I really don't like the color of that. If I had a choice right now between the water slide and the um, wood photo transfer using the Liquitex, I kind of like the Liquitex yes. better. But that's probably because we just did this wrong. Uh, I also happened to come across another one of these that uh, used um, water slides for glass like this. And what they did was they printed it in reverse. They added the image directly onto the glass and then they just turned it upside down, soaked it, and peeled off the, um, the white paper, and then you viewed it through the front of the glass rather than viewing it on the, at the sticker. And it came out really, really nice. So I might wanna have to give that one a try. That sounds like a really good idea. Because um, the side, when you look at the side where the sticker's not on, it's crystal clear, it looks really pretty, and the image comes out much better. Uh, so I think we'll um, have to give that a try sometime. Uh, this one on the metal came out really, really good. I liked the colors and I liked how it was just um, 
smooth on here. It's still, I think a little bit wet still, but that's okay. Uh, I really like this one. I did too, I do too, I do too. And then this one on the wood, I was thinking that maybe before we put the image on here that we would spray the wood with uh, polyacrylic and see how it transfers with the picture on it. Actually, that's a really good idea that I didn't think about. By putting on something onto the wood first, mm. making it a uh, smooth surface and filling up all the pores, it might actually transfer much better. Actually, when, and while we were um, allowing this to dry, I kind of cheated and looked on the internet, and it turns out there are a lot of people that actually do the water slide onto the wood, so it wasn't that clever of an idea after all, but I haven't seen anything on metal. And in all honesty, out of the three that we did, this happens to be my favorite. Ah, mine right. too. Mine. <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and finish up with that here. We surely hope you like this week's video. Next week, we're gonna show you the project that we we're supposed to have done this week. But until then, bye-bye.